Silver chasing is the craft of decorating silver, working the metal with a series of punches, drifts and chisels, producing figurative or abstract designs enhanced by the quality of the silver. The design is drawn on the sheet of silver and then worked on both sides of the metal by a selection from over 400 tools, some of which have been passed down through two or three generations of craftsmen and some of which have been specially made to meet a particular need. In 1977, Bill Richardson celebrated his jubilee, 25 years as a silver chaser, working on pieces ranging from small pendants to gold dinner services valued at 50,000 pounds. No two jobs are the same. In this film, we watch him at work on the master from which a series of pendants will be cast.
keep working in that position with the hand. Line. Not all chasing is pictorial, as in this example we have just seen. One of Bill Richardson's most popular items is this copy of an early English goblet, which retails at about £175. Other work can include presentation boxes, commemorative plates, and a wide range of similar items. Hand chasing is rare now, as with many crafts, the time involved means that the work is inevitably expensive and with modern machinery it is possible to produce a tolerable substitute for the craftsman-made article. But there is always a small but steady demand for the special quality of the unique handcrafted piece and the tradition of the silver chaser dating back thousands of years has a small corner in the silversmithing industries of Sheffield.